Today we're going to be painting a painting of Mars. All right, the question of the day is, who is John Carter of Mars? Run through the colors. Mars black, titanium white, pearly red, Van Dyke brown, burnt umber, red oxide, Indian hue, primary yellow, quin blue, ultramarine blue, pale green. finished the first layer we just laid in kind of a blue we've kind of varied the blue add a little bit of red here and there so it kind of gives an interesting texture and we flipped the white on here we've left the uh, planet white for now uh, the reason for that is because we're gonna keep doing the stars and they're gonna be overlapped so there's no point to have that fleck on top of that except maybe the last layer to show a little bit of planetoids maybe in front of Mars but in general it's not you're not gonna see anything right close and after we get this first layer really done, we're going to start layering with gloss and that'll give kind of a see-through layer. All right, for this layer, what we're doing is we're adding a little bit of our red glaze and as well as some of this really dark black. So this might be a little bit too heavy. We'll see how it works out. Um, it's a little bit harsher than other colors. Uh, we'll probably layer one more layer at least. And you can already see the first layer of stars is further back because it's under that glaze and the other one is further ahead. So you already have a little bit depth to the stars, which is what we were looking for. All right, for this layer, what we've done, we've added in a blue, a green, and a purple. It kind of mismatches. We've darkened the corners, kind of makes space further out there. And we have a mixture of stars on top of this. So you have three layers of stars. You can kind of see that. So it gives a really dense layer of stars further out. We've added a preliminary sketch. I need to make this more round. So I'm gonna tape this out and make a perfect sphere in the next layer. All right, for this layer, what we're gonna do is we're gonna tape this edge. Um, I might add a little more blue, this little light here, um, but tape the edge here and fill in that planet at a perfect circle. And then we'll work on the planet more or less. <laughs> We just laid in our first layer on the Mars. I think we need to fill this in more. You got like that dark blue kind of coming in through there still. And this time I think I'm gonna just keep layering and maybe add a flat wash at the end. All right, we got kind of an orange. It's a little bit more browner, so I gotta brown this up a little bit, uh, make it not as bright. I was worried before it wouldn't be an orange enough, but now this is looking kind of burnt and this should be is orange, so we need to add kind of more burnt layer to this. At this stage, um, I'm just gonna take off the tape, see how it looks. Um, not super happy with the plan. <laughs> I think it's more tougher to paint than I thought of. It's easier just to take a photograph. Um, obviously, it's a stitched together photograph, and then I'm trying to, you know, make an example planet. I think it reads like maybe a planet, perhaps. Once you take off the 
you got the nice galaxy next to it but um, it's not what I thought it would turn out to be so I'm just gonna leave it as is all right we took off the tape it's not exactly round um, but I think it'd just be a real pain to try to get this um, as round as you can get Like it could be a little rounder here, but I think that's okay. I think I'm just gonna live with it, uh, call it a day. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna do planets again. <laughs> They're way tougher than just doing the galaxy. Galaxy is way simpler compared to this mess. Um, anyway, that's my uh, take on this painting. So this was a story by um, J. Edgar Burroughs. Um, he's a famous sci-fi writer in 1911, he released this uh, novel A Princess of Mars and John Carter's the lead character and they have this magical transportation corridor between Earth and Mars and so that allows John Carter to go actually to Mars and then lives this fantasy world of this Mars um, there's a whole kingdom of uh, of Mars there and so there's a whole different culture and then he goes back to Earth and he keeps going back and forth between these time quarter, these quarters between Earth and Mars that he has secretly discovered. So that's what is John Carter of Mars. And Disney brought it to movie. I really liked the movie. I don't know why people didn't like the movie. It, it failed at the box office basically, which is a shame because then they could have done, you know, two more follow-up films if the first one had been successful, but it just didn't ring true with audiences for some reason. So that's a real shame because it was a really, they put a lot of money into it and it could have been a really cool franchise, but that's who John Carter of Mars is. Thanks for watching guys. All right, we just finished the painting. Let's take a closer look. So there's a little bit of shine here. That's from the lights. Um, it has a definite feel of a planet, a nice roundness to it. And so I've gotten mostly what I've uh, looked after and the galaxy looks pretty ba uh, believable in the background. Um, you know, based on the original color, it's kind of like a dusty brown. It's not exactly orange. You think it's orange, but it's more dusty brown. So I think, you know, overall that's pretty good accurate color wise. Some of the features were kind of hard to capture, I think, on paint versus photos. You know, it's just we're not really familiar with that uh, photo of Mars. It's only very recent, so it's just you really need um, to acclimate a lot of photos in your mind to really be able to pick up those subtle differences that you want to portray in a painting. So overall, I think it's pretty good for what I, I don't know if I'll do a planet again. <laughs> Definitely way more challenging than I thought it would be. Um, hopefully you guys like it. Uh, give me a thumbs up and subscribe below. And I'll see you in the next painting video. Thanks for watching guys.